Hello, and happy Valentine's Day. Uh, my name is Jeff Feige. I am with IGEL Technology America. Um, today I'm going to show you how to license the IGEL UDC2 using the awesome IGEL UMS. This video assumes that you have an understanding of what the UMS is, you have it installed, and do you have the UDC installed as well, and you're just looking to license it. So first things first, um, we need to start up the IGEL management console. You can see here I have a device already under management called Feige UDC and it has no valid license. If we, um, There are also some profiles applied to this device. Um, they are applied to the parent folder but the important ones here are the fact that I'm being able to shadow and terminal and screen resolution. So let's shadow and if we take a look here uh, under about there's no valid license and uh, if we were to open a terminal and take a look at there are no files inside of that folder okay great so I'm gonna go through the process and uh, afterwards I will show a couple of troubleshooting techniques so we go to system license management and add our license to the management suite. This particular license has more than one device in it, but uh, for any purpose it's all the same. If we click on the license uh, entry in this uh, window here, underneath you can see the MAC addresses that are applied to it and I believe 16 is the one we have. Okay, great. That's all we need to do um, for adding the license anyway. And now we need to reboot the thin client twice reason for this is the first time the thin client will reach out to the management suite grab the license and the second time it will apply so let's go ahead and reboot okay the device is rebooted um, it will still not have a valid license we can check that uh, by shadowing it and taking a look here in the man it says no valid license if you would like to see if the license has been actually transferred to the device it's possible to open a terminal and doing the same thing we did last time you will see there's actually a license file in here now so let's go ahead and reboot the device again and let it apply Okay, uh, now the device has come back up, so let's shadow again. And um, we should see that the device is now licensed, yay. Product ID UC1LX. Um, so we're good to go there. And then uh, in the UMS, it's still going to show as no valid. If we hit F5, we should be good. Um, so a couple troubleshooting pieces. Um, it's not a bad idea to check on the UMS, so when you when we go to um, license management and um, upload the license file to the server that license file goes in C or wherever you install your programs program files x86 iGEL remote manager RM GUI server web apps and you'll see one that has a UUID style uh, number behind it that should be it and you'll see the license file is in there and uh, they are plain text so you can edit them and take a look at it you can't edit them but you can look at them anyway um, if for some reason it seems that the thin client is not picking up the license for this particular process the thin client attempts to contact the UMS the, the physical server where the UMS is installed via the FQDN of that server not via IGEL RM server um, so if you are testing this on a Windows 7 or or a machine that's not on the domain and it has one of the um, you know the standard windows like win dash and a bunch of numbers and letters um, that's what the thin client has to be able to resolve so um, not necessarily the best example but my machine here is part of a domain and it is named IGEL RM server dot ITA support dot LAN is the FQDN but that is 
the um, address that the thin client reaches out to to get the license so if we get on to our thin client and um, ping this fqdn igel rm server ita support .lan, you'll see that it does come back if for some reason um, you cannot ping this uh, the FQDN of the UMS server from the thin client what you can do is double click on the device in the UMS go to network go to hosts and add an entry here so say for instance um, and then we would add say it was win e7 for f2 whatever we take this and put this in both entries and then now if you reboot the device twice it would be able to reach out and uh, and grab that. Um, I think that just about covers what I want to cover here. Um, just so you know, we have some new stuff on our uh, website. Some cool. Um, we have a, a new FAQ section, um, which is loaded with some really good information. And we also have our uh, how-to section which uh, you're looking at right here has some videos out there and uh, our new eDocs um, which has some good information as well I um, hope you can take advantage of it we're improving it continually um, and you can also search on YouTube for some of our videos as well uh, I hope this was helpful to you and um, have a nice day thank you thanks for watching uh, oh yeah again my name is Jeff Feige and I'm with iGel Technology America, and uh, have a good weekend.